Hi, I am Sishena. I am from the batch ME216. Today, we will be covering the structure of your heart, specifically its surfaces. I hope you already have some idea on this, so let's just go into it proper. This is your heart. It's now lying in its anatomical position. Here, you can see it is directed to the right scapula, and over here, it is directed just lateral to your left nipple. This is what we call the apex of the heart. So the apex of your heart is at your left fifth intercostal space. Um, it is also 9 centimeters away from your midline and along the midclavicular line. That's the apex. Going behind, this is your base. This is the base of your heart, which is formed by your left atrium. So let's go into the borders of your heart now. This is the right border of your heart. So the right border is formed by the right atrium. And you can also see your superior vena cava. And your inferior vena cava comes out from here as well. This is the left border of your heart. So you can appreciate the left auricle, which is this structure here. And also the left ventricle. This is the inferior border of your heart. So you see the left ventricle and the right ventricle. So those are the borders of your heart. Let's go into the surfaces now. So what you see looking at you right now, the anterior part of the heart, this is your sternocostal surface. It is called as such because it is behind your sternum and your ribs. What you see here is the right atrium, the right auricle, the right ventricle, and your left ventricle. You may have noticed some grooves, but we'll be going into that later. Now, underneath here is the inferior part of your heart. We call it the diaphragmatic surface because it is above your diaphragm. This is the surface that your heart rests on. So you can see the left ventricle here and the right ventricle here. You may also be able to see your inferior vena cava coming out from here. Now let's look at the base of your heart. So as I mentioned before, this is the base of your heart. It is formed by your left atrium. You can also see the pulmonary veins. So these are the surfaces of your heart. Let's go into a concept called sulcus. So the sulcus is the groove between the chambers of your heart. Here, this is between your left ventricle and your right ventricle. So therefore, we call it the interventricular sulcus. What you see here is the great cardiac vein. And here, this is a branch of your left coronary artery. We call it the left anterior descending artery. Now here, this is a sulcus between your right atrium and your right ventricle. We call it, therefore, the atrioventricular sulcus. So here, you see the right coronary artery as well as the anterior cardiac vein. Okay. Let's go down. So this sulcus here, it is between your left ventricle and your right ventricle. So therefore, we also call it the atrioventricular, uh, sorry, the interventricular sulcus. But and going to the back, notice this sulcus here. It's between your left atrium and your left ventricle. It's therefore another atrioventricular sulcus, but this one we call it the coronary sulcus. Here is where your coronary sinus is, and this is the anastomosis between your left and right coronary arteries. That's it. Thank you.